Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to explain about 5 things to know about the iOS 15.7 update. Apple released a new iOS 15.7 update for iPhone. iOS 15.7 is a milestone upgrade though it is much smaller than your average milestone release. It does not carry any known bug fixes and features on board. If you want to skip Apple's new iOS 16 update for the time being, you have to the option to move iOS 15.7. It's unclear if you will be the final version of iOS 15 or if Apple will continue to push iOS 15 firmware to devices like iPhone SC and iPhone 7. Neither device is compatible with iOS 16. With that in mind, we want to take through the everything you need to about the Apple's latest iOS 15.7 update for the iPhone. Here I'll explain iOS 15.7 reviews, problems, features, jailbreak and what's the next. In this walkthrough, we will take through the iOS 15.7 changes, the software's current performance iOS 15.7 problems, jailbreak status and more. Here I will explain iOS 15.7 review. If your iPhone is currently running iOS 15.6.1, you will see the smallest download size. For iOS 15.6.1 users, the iOS 157 download will be around 350 MB. You can expect a similar size for the other iPhone models running the previous version of iOS 15. The exact size of the iOS 15.7 download depends on your iPhone model the version of iOS is currently running. If your iPhone is running an older version of iOS, you may see a bigger download because of your update comes with the changes from iOS updates you skipped. If you are moving up from the iOS 15.6.1, the installation process should be take 10 minutes or less than to complete. It took about 6 minutes to install an iPhone 12 Pro. You have been using iOS 15.7 on iPhone 12 Pro for a very short time. Here is what we have to learn about the software's performance thus far. First of all connectivity. Connectivity for battery life is stable. Wi-Fi connectivity is fast and reliable. Bluetooth is working normally. GPS and cellular data are both stable. For go through app performance, third party apps including Netflix, Dark Sky, Twitter, Slack, Asana, Gmail, Chrome and Spotify are working fine at the moment. First party apps like Safari, Podcast are also stable. Throw speed is uh, iOS 15.7 currently feels as a fast as iOS 15.6.1. If you have been dealing with these bugs or performance issues and iOS 15.6.1 or older version of iOS 15, you might want to install iOS 15.7 update on your iPhone today. You need to help making decision about the upgrade iOS 15.7. Here I explain iOS 15.7 problems. The OS 15.7 update is already causing problems for some iPhone users. Some problems are branded new, others have carried over the previous version of iOS 15. The current list of iOS 15.7 problem includes abnormal battery drain, installation issues, UI lag, issues with the touch ID and face ID, and issues with the first and third party apps. If you encounter problem and iOS 15.7, take a look out our list of fixes for the most common issues. We have also released some tips that could be help improve your phone's performance and some tips that could help you to fix bad iOS 15 battery life if you encounter it. Here I will explain through the iOS 15.7 features. Apple milestone updates typically bring new features, enhancements, security patches and bug fixes iPhone's users. iOS 15.7 is not typically milestone upgrade. iOS 15.7 improves security and it brings 11 new patches and compatible phones models. You can learn about these charges over an app. Now iOS 15.7 jailbreak. If you still jailbreak, make sure avoid the iOS 15.7 update. We don't expect developers to release tools that compatible with iOS 15.7 update. Today or at any point in near future. If you still jailbreak, keep an eye out for new information. Here what's the next? Again, an unclear of iOS 15.7 will be the final version of iOS 15. Apple could choose to push additional version of iOS 15 but that has not been confirmed. The company has also released its new iOS 16 operating system software is currently available to download right now.